It's more than just wrecking cars. I leave everything on the track. When you start working on the car, there's a lot of time that goes in it. And sometimes it's frustrating, and sometimes you just want to go in and lay on the couch and watch TV. But you know if you're going to make it to that event, you got to put time in in the shop. I don't think there's very many guys that are truthful that say they don't get butterflies. I think that's part of what attracts us to the sport. It's getting that butterfly, that anxiousness. Once the green flag drops, all that nervousness goes right out the window. When I started in 1985, the sport hadn't advanced to a point where someone that really didn't know a lot about it couldn't get in and compete. When I started back then, I had a $50 car and I built it with a hammer and a chisel. I didn't have any shop, any, any concrete floor to work on, any cutting torches welders, and I, I could really compete back then. As a sport, just like anything evolves, it becomes more money, and obviously the more equipment you have, the easier it is to work on it. A guy doesn't have to have the best equipment in the world to build a competitive car, it just makes it easier. Your equipment will take you a long ways, but no matter what, you've got to be able to drive it.